it's Rachel from All About The House. This is my shop on Etsy. So in this video I'm going to show you how to do a profile picture, how to make one of these, um, just like this one in Photoshop. So this is one I've created for my shop already and this is the finished product. So this is what we're going to make. So go to Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop installed on your computer already, I'll include a link below this video to where you can download it. There is a 30 day free trial um, or it's only it's like less than $15 a month, which is super cheap. So let's go File New. And what you want to do is enter in the dimensions. So it is 280 by 280 pixels. You can see the dimensions down here for any um, JPEG file. So let's go 280 pixels by 280. I just leave all these other settings as is with Photoshop's defaults with the resolution, RGB color, transparent background, and hit OK. So now we've got our little template. So now we can start adding text, images, whatever you want. So what you could do is just have a plain white background. So create a new layer and get the paint bucket tool. Make sure it's set to foreground. Left click down here and then enter the color code for white, which is 255 for each of the RGB codes or 6Fs and hit OK. And then left click to apply the paint bucket. So now we have a white background. So now we can start adding um, text if we wanted to. So if we just left click on the text tool and then left click on our template, you could type your shop name. At the moment the text is in white, so if we press Control A, it'll highlight all of that text that we just typed, whether it be your shop name. And then you can click here and choose what color. So if you use specific colors for your brand um, that you use in all your promotional items, you can enter in the color code here, the RGB code or the six digit hex code. Um, or you can just play around with the color picker tool until you find one that you like. If you're not sure what color to do, I always recommend going with black. So the color code for black is three zeros. The reason I recommend black is because it looks good, it looks nice and modern, it's not going to offend anyone because I mean black's black, no one hates black. Um, and also it's cheap for printing promotional materials, so if you're getting business cards printed, um, black and white will cost you less than color printing. So if you're not sure what colors to pick for your brand, I recommend going with black and white. And then when you've got that selected, hit OK. So my text is too big at the moment, I'm just going to reduce it down a bit. So even 20 is probably a bit big, let's go with say 16. And now if you want to do multiple lines of text, just make sure you backspace so there's no space between the words. So if I want this to be on the first line and this to be on the second line, there should be no space between between those words. And then press enter. So at the moment, the spacing between my words is way too high. So press control A and then come over to the characters menu. I'll go to window character. And then this here is the spacing between your lines. So let's drop that back to, yep, 20 looks good. You can also change the font style in here as well. So you could do like some fancy fonts, some simple, um, like a combination of fonts, whatever you want to use. That one looks cool. Um, oh, I like that one. And then you can um, also download and install fonts from the internet as well. Just make sure that you can use them like for commercial use in branding items. Um, I do have another video tutorial on how to download and install fonts as well, which I'll include below this video if you're interested. So now if we want to align our text to the center of our little profile, one of the quick ways that you can do this in Photoshop and one of the reasons I really like Photoshop is the align tool. So if we left click on this marquee tool here, left click and drag so we've got a dashboard on all sides of our page or our template. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go to the move tool and then press this button here. So align it to the center and then align it to the middle. So I can see that my text is a bit too big. So come back to the characters menu and I'm going to drop it down to say 14 is probably a bit much still. Let's go 12 looks good. So now we've got our text in the center of our um, little image. We can reduce the spacing because that's a bit gappy. And so you could just have it like this um, simple or you could swap it and do the reverse. You could do a black background with some white text. You could also do what I did in mine which is add a banner and then a pattern. So let's do that. So if you did want it in the reverse, you would just create a new layer and then hide those layers by clicking the eye icon, change the foreground color to black, which is zero for each of the RGB codes, and then left click to apply it to your template, turn your text layer back on, click on the type tool, click on your text, press control A and change that to white or any other color. So now we've got the reverse as well. Alright, so let's say that we wanted to add a banner and a pattern 
just create a new layer come over to the shape tool right click and when you see this little arrow down here that means there's a secondary menu so there's another menu um, like behind this one that's hidden because if they showed all of those tools it would be like out to here your menu in Photoshop so if you see that little triangle right click and then you can choose from the uh, playout menu so you could do a circle if you wanted to I'm just gonna go with a rectangle and then you want to left click and drag you can make it as wide um, or as thin as you want it to be I typically divide it into thirds so that's what I did with um, this one's not quite thirds it's about thirds um, then it's even depends on how long your shop name is so at the moment it's black but we could change it to say white or we could do any color that we wanted you bring up the color picker tool you can pick your branding colors if you know the code and then hit OK you can also add a stroke which is a border around your shape so we can see that I did a black background here and then a white stroke so we can do that here if we change the fill to black and then the stroke is white at the moment it's really thick because it's on four points but if we drop that back to say two point then we've still got the white line but it's not as fat you can also change um, you can do 0.5 as well you can also change it so it's not a solid line you could do a dash line or a dotted line if you wanted to so I'm just going to stick with a solid line for now and then I want to align this to the center of my template so I've got an even amount up the top here as I do down the bottom so everything's nice and balanced and um, like consistent and symmetrical so come over to that marquee tool again and just like we did for our text we're going to left click and drag so we've got a dash border on all sides click on your move tool and press this button here so that will move it to the center of our template so now there's the same amount of space between the edge here and the top of this bit and the top of uh, sorry the bottom of this bit and then the bottom of our template you can then press Control D to get rid of those dash borders. So now we can bring our text layer up in our menu. So if we left click and drag it up, um, at the moment it's too big for our little banner section. So click on the text tool, left click, and then if you press Control A, you can highlight all of your text and change the size all at once. So if we drop this back to say 8, and then you want to change the spacing as well. So let's drop that back to about 10. So typically if I choose Whatever I choose for my font size, I usually go plus or minus 5 either side for the line spacing. Um, it does depend on what font you're using. Some of them um, look better with larger spacing. It just depends what font you've picked. So now we've got our shop name. You could change this so it's all on one line if you wanted to. It depends on how long your shop name is. So let's leave it on one line. That looks pretty good. You want to make sure that you do have a little bit of space on between the edge of your word and the left and the edge of your word on the right because then it doesn't look crammed, it's not hard to read, you do want to add a little bit of space. So if we click on the marquee tool again, we can left click and drag and then align it to the center of our template. So click this button here and then this one as well to move it into the middle. So now we have our text in the center of our template um, and same with our banner. So now all we need to do is add our digital paper. So if we navigate to our computer where we've got saved our pattern or our digital paper or whatever you want to use, if there's a certain pattern that you use for your brand, you can use that. I do have this free polka dot um, overlay and digital papers, which you can download through my blog. I'll include a link below this video if you want to um, have a go with the digital paper before you purchase one um, or get one custom made in your brand colors, or you can use an overlay and then um, change it to whatever colors suit your business. So I do have the overlay for this one as a free download so you can pick any colors that you want for your dots and for your background as well. So navigate to where your digital paper is saved on your computer, left click so you've got this blue um, highlighting around it, left click and drag to drop it into Photoshop and then press enter to place it. So now if we've got that layer selected we can left click and drag it down behind our banner. So now I've got a cute pattern with a banner. What you can do is um, color match. So I've got my banner currently in black, but let's say I wanted to use a color used in my pattern. I can click on the shape tool on the fill color and then click the color picker. And then you'll see this little eyedropper appear. If we left click, we can now get the pink that we used and change it to pink. So now it looks nice and matching. One thing to note, because 280 pixels by 280 pixels, so the height by the width, 
is really um, small. So when you're going from a digital paper, which are typically 12 by 12 inches, onto a template like this, it's going to get a little blurred. So one way around that is to go File New, create a new file that is 12 by 12 inches, and then hit OK, and then drag and drop in your digital paper, and press Enter to place it. Then right click on that layer and hit Duplicate, and then choose the um, Photoshop file that your little um, Etsy shop preview is, which is probably going to be Untitled 1, and then hit OK. And if you come back here, we can see that it is super big at the moment. So if we press Control T, we can now shrink the size down. So you want to choose a corner. Never choose a um, side here because if you do that, we can see that it gets distorted. So now they're ovals. We don't want ovals. We want dots. So always choose a corner. Hold down Shift and then drag inwards. And then press um, Enter when you're happy with the size. You can keep increasing and decreasing the size that way. So now we can see that it's less pixely than it was um, before when we didn't um, put it in this new file and duplicate it across. We can just delete this one because we don't need it anymore. So now that we have our pattern, you want to left click and drag that down so it's behind all of your other layers in Photoshop and then press delete. If you're going to use a pattern for your shop banner, it's, um, I would advise using a large print pattern. So these are quite a small dots, which means they're probably still, they're still a little pixely. If you choose a large polka dot pattern or a large print, it won't be as pixely when you reduce it down because this is a really small template size. At the moment, um, one of my pet hates is when you've got more of this dot showing but then down the bottom that's half cut off and same on the left you've got the full dot showing but then on the right only half is. It just looks really yucky and uneven. Same here we can see a little bit peeking through behind the banner and then we've got three quarters. It looks messy, it looks yuck. There's a quick way to just quickly fix it. Click on the marquee tool, left click and drag again so we've got that dash border just like we did with the text and when we were aligning the banner. Click on your move tool and hit that button there and then this one as well. So now we've got our dots all evenly spaced. We've got half showing up the top, half down the bottom and we've got the full dot showing on um, these sides at the top and the bottom. We can see we've still got a little bit peeking through here on the left. So if you want to get rid of that, just press Control T and you can shrink your pattern down so you've got a little bit showing on each edge. Or you could increase it up if you wanted to get rid of that and just have a purely white um, border around it. It's totally up to you. And then press enter. So that looks pretty good. If you wanted to, you could um, change your color, play around with it. So you could do a uh, the light pink instead of the hot pink. You can experiment with the colors. Um, you could change it so the stroke is a color. So we could go with the hot pink. So everything looks matching. So that looks quite cute. And then when you're happy to with your design and you're ready to upload it to your um, Etsy shop, just go File, Save As, and make sure you choose JPEG, and then just go like Etsy Shop Banner or Etsy Shop Profile or um, whatever you want to call it so that you will remember it later on. Um, and then you can just upload it onto your Etsy shop. So that's how you make a little preview image. You could also do one with a circle. You could do um, big letters, so if your shop um, had like uh, three letters, you could do a monogram, or you could do, um, for example, mine's all about the house, so I could do A-A-T-H, you could do multiple letters, um, just the letters of each word, so you could do A-A-T-H, like that, and then bump that up to a big font, um, and go, like, uppercase, and put that in a circle if you wanted to, um, that font doesn't allow me to do uppercase, um, so you could do it that way, in like a circle but one thing to note if you're going to do that that's not really good for like remembering your brand if you've got a long shop name you could do this but typically people are going to look at that and it's not going to mean much to them versus if you actually have your whole um, shop name written out so I hope you found this tutorial helpful